It has been a great opportunity serving on the board of the Gamry Chamber of Commerce and Industry. I have now come to the end of my tenure after serving for two consecutive terms, but I leave with a great sense of fulfillment having served the business community. I was part of a dynamic board that boldly influenced on the business environment and livelihoods, fiscally, socially, and empathetically during very crucial times in the Gambia. Our success in impacting on the business environment in the Gambia was due to the vast knowledge of board representation spanning over key industries. Although the constitution of the chamber dictates a minimum of 30% women representation, the ratio is still quite low. Undeniably, the dynamics and operating environment for women-owned and led businesses remains challenging in the Gambia. However, for effective change to be accomplished, we must have women at the forefront of decision-making instruments, such as the chamber, ensuring that our voices are heard and not conveyed. The chamber is the voice of business, but the voice would be heard louder if it's yours. I therefore urge women to apply and take up seats at the board of the Gamble Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Recognizing the impact the tourism industry has on the economy, the board also requires representation from this instrumental industry. I think it is about time that tourism stakeholders take up seats and hold prominent roles in the board of the Gambia Chamber of Commerce and Industry and also participate more actively in the chamber's activities. I think this is the only way that our voices will eventually be heard.